Well, we're going to post one more video here today and maybe call it quits for a while. Um, uh, this is going to be a little short one on uh, You Won't Have to Cry. It's like uh, off the Mr. Tambourine Man album. It's uh, one of their poppier numbers. Um, it's a pretty little, neat little piece to play, and uh, I'm going to show you it here real quick. It starts out on a D7. It's um, on the 7th fret. It kind of lays your finger crossed here. It plays this type of D7. Okay, so it's going to involve going back and forth, the seventh, the sixth, to the seventh. But it start. There's a pickup note. Just move your your middle finger over to your B string there. That's the intro there. One more time. It's in the key of E, and it's an E seventh. That's the chord right there. And you're going to do a little pickup note on your B. Then it goes down to E for the verse. Then you're going to go up to your uh, A position up here on your ninth fret in your, with your D shape and pick it backwards. down to your D minor shape and move it down a half fret and play a D minor on your um, on your last three strings your G B and E strings and pick it backwards again and move down two frets and pick it backwards again exact same pattern back up to the A backwards pick again Move down a half step D minor shape and pick up the F, F sharp down here at the second fret, the last three notes of it. Then the little lick is done on the four string. And every time uh, he plays this, it's a little bit different. It's not phrased the same, or it's, it's um, almost very inconsistent. So, uh, once again, I'll play it, and, and that little lick sometimes goes, or it can go, so once again, it goes, um, there's an E chord, then up to the ninth fret with your D backwards pick, down a half step D minor shape, Backwards pick, down two frets with the D minor shape, backwards pick, then up to your ninth fret, your D shape, half, down a half, D minor shape, then your S sharp, and that's basically the verse. Uh, then, then it will go, uh, let, let me play that up, up the tempo for you. So it goes, it start, it, we're going to start out in the verse. Uh, it starts out in E. That's it there. That's uh, basically what he plays in the verse. If you stick to that and you do it with a band or anything, it'll sound wonderful. And there's a, a little lick in there also he does. Um, I'll try to demonstrate that. It's, it's kind of tricky because it's kind of buried. It's the... Uh, uh, let me see. That's... Um, And that goes up, you know, you, you got to... And basically, if you play that same lick and end up on an E, that will be the, en uh, the ending riff of the song, which goes something like this. I, 
I believe it's, it's something like along that order, but the first one goes when it goes into the D, goes into the bridge, goes. Okay, and the ending lick is pretty much the same thing. One more, more time. And that lick will work over the ending of it. So once again, um, the verses are E, the ninth fret, the A position. You're just playing the last three strings, but you're going to backwards pick them. Move it down one, a half a step and do a D minor position. Down two frets and do the same thing. Back up to the uh, ninth, backward pick. Half fret down, D minor, F sharp. And that's basically it. It's, it's, it's a fun little tune to play. And uh, once again, the intro goes. basically the tune there. Uh, if you do these two little licks there and end the one on a D and then the other one on the E, you should be in the right ballpark. So the, the one that leads you into the, uh, the bridge goes That's the first one and your second one will go That'll be pretty close to your ending lick. And uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and listening.